this one early. So yesterday, to today, whatever. So I talked about the new Microsoft thing that they put out. They said, hey, we're gonna be releasing the preview of the new, because one of the things they talked about was they're releasing a new Windows 10 update in spring. They said we're gonna be releasing the preview to our insiders. Guess what? Guess who's an insider? This guy over here. So guess what's installing? I can not believe how much better fresh squeezed orange juice is than like the pre-bottled stuff. Ten years ago, you couldn't have convinced me, like you couldn't have paid me to believe that. But here we are. I woke up with enough time to either, oh uh, it's this way, what the hell am I doing? To either work on the construction stuff for the office or come see the uh, Microsoft's uh, Surface Studio and uh, believe you can figure out which one I chose. <laughs> Shout out to the Microsoft store for not poo-pooing me when I uh, when I asked if I could take video. That was real nice of them. That was real nice of them. Surface Studio is the joint. That is the joint. I'm not even playing. That is good stuff. Oh my god, I can't. I wish, listen, I wish I had three grand to drop on that right now. I would do it. I would do it in a heartbeat. I would do that in a heartbeat. If I had the three grand, if I was looking, if I was personally, if I was a, a creative individual, artist, uh, I wouldn't say video, but I mean, it's a 28 inch monitor. You can definitely do some video editing with it. But if you're an artist, like, you know, a painter or I mean like sketches, I mean, it really, really anything like where you're in there, where you're just like working on it. I think it looks good. Crisp screen, zero latency. Like they were not playing with, with like, I, I, you know, I'm always doubtful in those pitches and they're like, oh, there's no latency. There's like nearly zero latency. And I wrote as fast as I could in, in, well, in MS Paint, you know I mean? I can't guarantee that it's the same in Photoshop, but in MS Paint, I wrote as fast as I could, handwriting, no, no latency. That's that Richie Branson. Shout out to uh, my new friend Sean on the internet. Uh, check out his stream. Uh, we should be tweeted it the other day. This is his. This is his gamer tag slash stream name. This thing is amazing. I like I said, if if I had three grand, even as me, who I am not like, I am not an artist that makes money off his art. Right? I am not an artist that needs to like streamline his process. I am an artist in the sense that I draw sometimes. Right? Like, I've got some sketchbooks laying around. I put pencil to paper here and there. I do not make a living off of it. I would still get If I had three grand for a computer right now, I would go with that. I would skip anything else on the market, and I would go with that. Uh, I did take a look at the, the, the new Surface Book as well. It's a little thicker, so they didn't mention that. It's a little thicker. It is the same, like, style, same design, but it's a little thicker in the body portion. Uh, the only thing that's concerning to me is I don't think this was present in the old design. The cooling goes right out towards the screen. So it's like on the inside part of the hinge. So that's really the only thing that's concerning to me long term. Because if you're going to be like drafting or like video editing, 3D modeling, that kind of stuff on it. You're going to be pumping out a lot of heat. And that being blasted at the display slash the tablet can't really, it can't really be good for it. But again... They do have the kind of crazy dual fan system, so it might not be as hot as I'm thinking. Coming out, it would really depend. Plus, I know the cool, the newer the newer processors and all that stuff, they all run cooler. So, I mean, in incongruence, it all might work to, to just be just low enough of a heat that it won't affect it. But it's just, 
one point of concern for me. But it's 11.30, let's get back to the crib. I, I'm gonna try to actually put some of this to edit and I might, if I get there in like the next 15 minutes, I might try to do my half hour now. Uh, but there is that one other thing I was gonna do. Well, let's do this first. 95 days ago, give or take about a 30 day gap, plus and minus a day and two here and there. Some amount of days ago, several, many days, a lot of days ago. I set out following the inspiration of my friend Mike, who was doing a 100s run, and this guy Gaz, who I'd never heard of in my life before, but then was finding that he was super entertaining and doing really cool stuff with the 100 and all these other people doing these 100 videos. And I was like, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this thing, but let me amp it up. And this was the plan. Since I had other things to do, I was gonna incorporate a different aspect of our company and every day. So Monday I was going to do T3G stuff, which is tech videos and stuff like that for this channel. Tuesday I was going to do Deadweight stuff, which is uh, the game, promoting the game, etc. Uh, write My Epic, which is now called Catalyst, which is what I've been working on, was going to be Wednesdays. Thursdays was going to be Primary Nexus stuff. So maybe working on business stuff, getting you know client work done, things like that. Friday we have gaming videos that go up, so I was going to do that. Saturday and Sunday we're going to be for learning. This fell apart pretty damn quickly. I went in without having a plan for all of those separate sections. Uh, you know, each each thing I want I wanted to do something for each one of them, but there was not enough planning. I mean, the tech videos Mondays that's kind of a you know, I've got a stack of stuff that needs to be reviewed. I've got a bunch of stuff I want to do, like walkthroughs and tutorials and like Linux and Windows. You know, but it was, again, not very specific. It was just a tech video needs to be made on Mondays. And then, uh, you know, again, dead weight stuff for Tuesdays. It was like, oh, you know, promote the game, try to sell the game in other places, find a, just very generic, non-specific goals. Um, same thing with Write My Epic. Write My Epic was kind of like try to develop it into the thing that I wanted it to be. Uh, you know, that actually did get done as I've been working on the Catalyst site since it was necessary to get Wolfpack published. The gaming stuff's gone up pretty regularly. Uh, between Hottis and I, we, we have put up gaming videos just about every week. Uh, Friday or Saturday, they've gone up. And then the learning stuff has really fallen by the wayside. So, like, there's two two online classes that I'm taking that I have not touched in months at this point. I was going to say weeks, but it's definitely been months. The one thing that did get done is I got the Wolfpack comic going. Now, that's something that I've been working on for the better part of eight years. It started, I want to say, around 2008 is when we sat down. We as a group, we as a company sat down and decided, okay, this is what we're going to be doing for a comic. So we wanted to make a comic. We talked about all the options we had on the table. Uh, I had a book that eventually became called uh, Children of Gaia. That's going to be the next project that I may do as a 100th. We'll see. We'll, we'll see about that one. But that was in a development stage that I, I just wasn't ready to go to like full bore with. We had a book that is tentatively called The Puppet Master that was created by Dan that is a really, really interesting concept. And he's been working on that kind of on and off for a few for several well, again eight years uh we had a thing called cause and effect which is more of a loose i don't even call it a, a, a like it's like a genre of its own right it's it's a really long story and hard to explain without going really in depth and then we had our fourth our buddy dave who uh, at the time while we were having this little meeting was playing uh what was that game called like I think it's called Tom Clancy's End War. Pretty sure that was the game, but it's like you had a headset, you could talk to it, you know, order, order strikes and things like that. And we we're like, well, what do you, you know? What's your input? He's like, ah, no, no, no. He's like, this is not my my domain. I don't really. This is not my creative thing. He's like, I'm a sales guy. He's like, when you when you have something, I'll sell it. And I was like, no, no, no. Come come sit down. Pitch you know, pitch us what you've got. And he said, I've got this idea called Wolfpack. And I'm like, all right, well, I already like the name keep going and it was the idea that you would have this strike force this team of of what ended up being mercenaries that would be paired with wolves and these guys you know would have these big wolves that would be paired with them and it would kind of be like this deadly strike force of animal and man and we really kind of all latched onto it started working on it started developing it and basically eight years later had gotten to about as far as what i 
what I had developed as a 22-page outline. We, we came up with, like, many ideas, developed the universe, like, we have a uh, whole other groups and teams, like, stuff that I don't even want to bring up because it's going to be, like, really cool stuff. Like, there's stuff that's hinted at in the first arc that goes to, like, the research and development group is a very, very cool separate squad that, like, I can't even explain how cool they are. Uh, but that's, like, that's, again, for a different arc. Uh, there's a whole backstory to, to everybody, and then there's a whole kind of mystery in the background that I don't want to give away because I think that story in and of itself is going to be very cool one day. But basically, over eight years, we came up with, well, a balance between like a four and an eight issue first arc, and then I kind of settled on six. And then during this process, as I started with the, the 100, I polished off the plot, wanted to make sure I had everything kind of figured out, wrote the script, and I am at about like day, I want to say 40-ish, I finished, no, no, I want to say it was about 50. It was about 50. Day 50, I want to say about day 50 or day 60 maybe at the latest that I had the actual plot done, like, no, I'm sorry, not the plot, but the script done. Uh, during the script writing, I came up with the idea that this would not be a standard length comic book. It, the original plot, the first issue plot that I had had for years at that point, had a 22 page layout. As I started writing the actual script for it though, it just seemed like I was planning for a lot more exposition and a lot more of what I consider to be really boring panels. Three page briefing of like, this is what we're going to be doing. And as I'm writing it, I'm like, I am just about at the end of this and I am about halfway through one page. And I'm just like, this is gonna like, this is shaving off three pages right there. Like, dang. So I kind of sat down with it. I, I just finished writing it as I was and it came out to about 10 pages. And I was like, 10 is a good number. Because then if we do six issues, 60 page hardcover with bonus material, you're getting into like 80 to 100 pages max. A 100 page like hardcover for a first volume I think would be really, really cool. So I was like, awesome. Because I'm not doing singles. I don't want to do singles. Singles I feel are, well, personally, like I don't collect singles. So it'd be really like I don't have space for singles. So I wouldn't even be able to collect my own book. Uh, so I would want to just have it as a hardcover and then I would definitely want a digital copy. So I was like, we could just go digital with this, you know, we'll publish it through what was originally called Write My Epic and go that way. We had a huge gap around day 70, just basically had a bunch of family stuff, had a bunch of stuff around here and I just lost the drive and uh, I brought it up before, like I, the, the car was kind of in a state of flux so I just I was just down and I didn't I didn't work on anything and when I came back it was kind of like what do I have to do and watching Mike's videos again where he started another 100 run Gaz started another 100 run like again I'm still in my first they were already they were already halfway through their through their last one starting another one by the time I was still finishing my first seeing Mike you know kind of in integrate these other aspects of everything that he wanted to do into his videos into his days I'm like damn like that is there's a lot of other stuff that can be done so we've got you know like the Facebook stuff you know your social media presence the website for the comic things like that and I was like damn like all that stuff is still necessary like you need all that stuff to get a book out like so I needed the place that I was going to be putting it out on. So Catalyst became the thing I was working on. You know, I sat down and thought about what I was going to call it and Catalyst was always kind of in my mind and then we've now through uh, community uh, discussions which I really appreciate all the input you guys have been giving me. I really like kind of where we're at with this. There's still a lot more to do. There's still a lot more to add, more features, more functionality to the website. The biggest thing is definitely that it's, it's up, it's ready to roll. You know, I can put out issues of of Wolfpack tomorrow. I can't in reality because I don't have an artist yet. <laughs> I am uh, I am in the process of trying to get a hold of uh, basically a friend of a friend is apparently coming out of a, a busy season at his day job and is an artist and will be able to do a book so we're, we're proceeding with that. There was another um, another artist that there was interest expressed but that just kind of fell apart. Uh, I did find an artist on DeviantArt that is going to do turnarounds for me. So uh, I've actually, 
I'm pretty sure we have now the money to get that done. Uh, we finished up some client work, so you know, client work equals paying for the fun stuff. <laughs> so that's kind of the next step. The next step for me is going to be producing those uh, those turnarounds so that we have like a solid design frame of reference so that when an artist does take over as a kind of regular, let's do this, you know, for the next 65 pages because issue six ended up being 15 pages, they're gonna know what to work with. They're gonna know which, which direction I wanna go. And there's, I'm trying to eliminate as much of the like back and forth as possible. That's where we are at currently. We are five days away. Today's day 96. And I'm about to get into this, uh, this website work. Uh, I want today, the goal is to get all the pages set up. So I've got multiple pages that just don't have anything on them right now. Uh, I just want to kind of get them set up, get content on them, and then we'll go from there. So we've got a few of the categories activated, uh, some, some content unprivated. We had some content up on the, the Write My Epic site previously. I had privated a bunch of the posts. Uh, I'm trying to kind of reorganize, I think, some of the stuff that's more freeform, like the Choose Your Own Adventure. I keep saying Choose Your Own Adventure. It's Choose Your Adventure, right? It's Choose Your Adventure novels. Anyway, uh, like the Choose Your Adventure, the Round Robin stuff, I think that's going to go into the forums because it's more freeform, more kind of communal. Uh, so I don't want, um, I, so currently I think this is going to be a managed site from our end until we get to a point where we're dealing with enough artists and things like that where, or creators rather, that are going to be putting out stuff and that they do want to manage their own stuff. Um, again, I, right now, the way the site is set up, we have to create the ad units for that particular, well, for that particular content, so we have to, like, you know, I'm going to have to go in and edit and put in the ad unit for that specific uh, book, that specific series, whatever. So that's that's how it's just going to be for now. So all of the communal stuff is going to be in the forums. But that's basically it for today. I'm going to get to editing this video, post that up, and get to bed. It is not even 11 o'clock yet. I'm proud of myself. Appreciate you guys for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.